Welcome to EC5201. This is Linear Systems class. I'm going to hand out the syllabus and let's uh, talk to, to these. Uh, I want to kind of explain how you get the grade in the class and what are the materials that you're going to cover in this class. Well, there's, I just have one. So grab it. All right, so uh, this is, uh, let me know when you all have it. So the vital information about the course is given on this syllabus. Let me just go quickly through it. The first section here relates to me. Uh, this is my name, email, phone, room, and uh, room uh, in the engineering building where my office is. The most important things are two last items. First one is office hours. I hold office hours Tuesday, Thursday, 2 to 5. And during that time, I'm guaranteed to be in the office. You can come ask me about this course, also about any, I, I advise a lot of you, so all the advising matters and even any kind of matters. Uh, related to the to the curriculum or degrees and so on. Uh, the last one is the most important. This is the uh, location of the website that I maintain where I post all the materials related to this classes and this class and other classes that I teach. Now what you will find out right now on this website uh, are the copies of all of my notes, right? Everything that I use to teach the class from is already posted there. Uh, I see that a lot of students find it useful to print some of these in advance to class, and that way you don't have to uh, take the notes in the class. You can kind of follow and fill in some of the blanks <laughs> that uh, uh, where I say something that's not really uh, written on the notes itself. Uh, starting of this semester, I'm going to be posting the videos of these notes. So uh, Masood here is recording all the lectures, and these videos will appear on the website after, no, not immediately, but maybe within a few days of the lecture. This is extremely beneficial for people who travel or for whatever reason are not able to make it into the class. So you can go there and you can see what was actually covered in the class. And a lot of times it's more convenient because you can sleep in the class and eat in the class and, <laughs> you know, and stop the instructor and, and do all sorts of things, right? But I find it really useful uh, and, uh, and I'll try to accommodate that. So uh, videos are going to be posted there as well. Uh, this is for 2012. There are 16 weeks in this semester and uh, I'm going to be using 13 of those weeks for lectures. So there will be 26 lectures in, uh, in this course, and I'm going to use two full weeks for midterm exams and one week for finals. So there are going to be three examination weeks. When there is an examination, we dedicate a full week to examination. There are two class periods. One of them, I'm just going to be doing some example problems here, and the other one is the actual exam. <coughs> the textbook for the course is uh, this one here. It's by Lati. I use the second edition. And uh, it's an excellent book except for its size. Right? It's very bulky and heavy. But uh, it's a very good book. It has tons of examples. It has a lot of exercise problems. Uh, Lat uh, Dr. Lati writes phenomenal. Right? Reading his books is like reading uh, novels or something. It's really, really easy to read. So I highly recommend it. Nothing that I say or very little things of what I say will be outside of this book, right? And uh, even the best instructor is worse than worst book. So book is way always better than any instructions, and uh, I suggest you spend a lot of time with it. Um, there are several objectives of this course. The, this is uh, one of those courses that is that belongs to fundamentals of this area. It is not dealing with any particular subject, 
yeah. but it's dealing with all subjects. It covers the mathematical tools that are uh, going to be used by you in all of the other subjects. Going from here into DSP, you're going to be using a lot of this material. Going into communication systems, you're going to be using all of this material. Going in pretty much every one of the areas that we cover on the graduate level are going to use more or less the material from this course. So by learning it here in one spot, you actually benefit across all the courses that you're going to be taking as a graduate student. Uh, so uh, my objective here is for you to master this material on a mathematical level, making sure that you understand all the math involved here. Also, I would like you to encourage you, I'm not going to really force it in this course, but I encourage you to use this course as a, a kind of motivation to learn MATLAB. MATLAB is a simulation package that we use here extensively, both on the undergraduate, but even more so on the graduate level. Linear system theory is the perfect settings for that. So I'm going to be giving you a lot of problems. My suggestion is to get a copy of MATLAB and uh, try to solve those problems. Use these um, linear systems as a motivation to learn MATLAB. Uh, the outline of course is given here. I'll try to stick to it as close as possible. Uh, what you have here are the areas that I plan on covering. Also how many lectures and what chapters are going to be covered. So it's really, really beneficial when you have a good book because you can kind of follow the, the way how the book is written. But you can see we're going to be dealing with the signals in a continuous and discrete domain. We're going to be analyzing these signals both in a time domain and a frequency domain. And uh, we're going to finish by looking at the space state model of a linear system, which is kind of fundamental for all the control, modern control systems and uh, also filtering approaches. The credits. Uh, the section here tells you how you get the grade. There are three components to the grade. There are two midterms and a final exam. Uh, 30 points for each one of the midterms and 40 points for the final. That makes it 100. And then here's the scale, which is a regular scale, how you get grades. Uh, there's a plenty of points. There's plenty of opportunities. So I expect that most of you are in very good grade in this course. Um, uh, one comment, uh, you notice there are no homework assignments here. Usually in the, in the in courses I teach, I give component of homework assignments. Uh, I'm going to be giving homeworks from the textbook. So I'm going to be giving a lot of homework problems. And uh, uh, they're going to be used, uh, they're going to be the same kind of problems that I'm going to be uh, giving for all of these midterms and the finals. As a matter of fact, what I did previous time I taught it, the actual problems that were given for homework are the ones that I used to select for the midterm exams. So in a way, you know what is going to be in a midterm exam, but uh, don't get fooled because there's like more than 100, uh, between 100 and 200 problems. So if you do all 200 problems, you're guaranteed to do all the problems that are in the pool for, uh, for the exams. Uh, are there any questions at this point? Go ahead. So, do there be any projects based on that? No, not for this course. Uh, I give that in the filtering and, and all the other, some other courses that I teach. But here's what you need to, you're at the, at the graduate level, so here's how you're going to treat your homework assignments. Treat every one of those as uh, assignment, like a work assignment. And what that means, uh, before you go to your boss, you never go with the first draft, right? You always double check it, even triple check it, check it with somebody else, and then you present it as a, as a solution. So you already have two means of checking it. Do it, do it longhand, manually, and do it using MATLAB. If those two give you the same results, it's a good chance it's correct, right? But if they're different, that's your chance for learning, right? Which one is wrong? And then by figuring out why are they, why are they different, and what's uh, what's the issue at hand, this is where the learning occurs. So just uh, use MATLAB as your best friend, as something that uh, will verify the accuracy of what you have uh, kind of solved manually for home. Um, what if you have classes during office hours? 
uh, then you just send me an email and we'll meet in alternative. I'm, I'm there a lot of times. It's just that I make a point that during these three hours, I, 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 I'm always there, right? But uh, I'm there many other times. Just send me an email so that I don't drift away. Any other questions?